Hi and welcome again to the channel Newtown Naughty Boy and in this video um, I have my HFT 500 out from Air Arms and um, I've debated about this for some time but I find the gun quite heavy and I'm not too sure whether I actually like this stock or not but as many of you may know, I also own uh, an MPR from Air Arms and I've got a feeling that the stock from the MPR would actually fit the action of this HFT 500. Now, if it does, then potentially I'm going to end up with a lighter air rifle to shoot and also one that may fit comfortably with me and that's quite important I think. So today uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the action out of this stock and also the action out of the MPR as well. I'm going to weigh the stocks and the action from both air rifles so that I can understand how much weight benefit I'm going to get once I put the action from the HFT 500 into the MPR stock. Um, there has to be a benefit there because the stock on the MPR is made from a much lighter wood than this laminate that we have here. The fear is, of course, is that the HFT 500 is um, a longer um, mechanism or gun, if you like. Um, it has a bigger tank, a longer tank on it, and therefore the gun may end up, um, once it's been converted, uh, it may end up as a bit front heavy. But I think it's worth having a look at this anyway. So. Um, you can follow my progress as I go through this. So first of all, I need to take both guns apart, which is quite a simple uh, thing to do. It's just one screw that holds both of these guns together. So it's just that um, hex bolt that runs through into the mechanism here on both rifles. So, just to remind you guys what an MPR looks like, just before I take it, or well, the mechanism, out of its stock. Um, it is a wooden stock. I forget what type of wood uh, the MPR uses, but it is a quite a light, light wood. Um, so, it's got the same mechanism or bolt through um, assembly to, to actually connect the stock to to the actual gun itself so I'm going to take this apart now and then I should be able to get back to you with some um, weight measurements about how much these um, these stocks weigh and, and also the the mechanisms themselves okay so let's do that okay now that the mechanisms are both out of the stocks let's have a look at these on the bench so they are side by side the HFT500 is the one below and the MPR is above. Um, you can see that they look similar at this end. The, the trigger uh, guard is, is slightly different, but um, apart from that, it's, it's similar. And of course, as we move along, we can see that the HFT500 has a much bigger cylinder. And my MPR happens to have a silencer on the end but um, uh, it didn't originally but um, I've added that to my MPR so those are the two gun mechanisms side by side one's a side lever and one is a bolt action opening for loading the pellet so let's have a look at the stocks now Okay, so now we have the two stocks side by side with the MPR on the bottom and the HFT 500 at the top. And as we kind of scan along here, um, 
they are completely different types of stock as you can see but as far as length is concerned they're very similar um, the one aspect that I like about the MPR stock is the angle of this pistol grip it's more in the configuration of a target shooters kind of um, configuration with um, the ability to have your hand more upright whereas the HFT 500 is a, a sporter type stock with this kind of um, angled approach here to the grip and that's okay but actually I prefer this type this um, it's more upright approach and that's what I've been used to I also like the um, the cheek piece on the MPR and of course because um, I'm a grown-up I guess some may dispute that but I've had to add some um, some metal uh, extension tubes here to to the actual actual end but here to elongate the stock because this gun is intended really for um, juniors as well as adults so it's quite easy to conf configure this gun to fit your needs um, so that's kind of by lining these up you can kind of see there is some difference here um, and now let's continue with the measurements I've done on weighing these guns okay so bearing in mind that I didn't actually look up uh, online what the weight of uh, an air arms HFT 500 actually is so these are my measurements on my scales which I think are pretty good um, so I measured the stock at uh, 3.8 pounds and the gun is four pounds so that's a total of 7.8 pounds altogether seems reasonable um, I, as I say I don't know whether this is accurate that was obviously without the scope on and everything else and um, just the the bear gun in its and uh, on its own and the stock on its own so let's have a look at the MPR now and a little bit of a surprise here I think really so the stock obviously much lighter at 2.4 pounds and the gun is four pounds and that is exactly the same as the HFT 500 I was a little bit surprised at that um, I thought the HFT 500 was going to be um, greater in weight than the MPR mechanism but it seems it's not but bear in mind that I did keep the moderator the silencer on the MPR when I weighed it um, so if I took that off it certainly would be less than four pounds but the moderator really doesn't weigh very much at all um, so that puts the MPR at 6.4 pounds in total and that's a difference between the two guns of 1.2 pounds so that's the saving in weight that I'm going to get as long as I can actually fit the HFT 500 mechanism into the MPR stock so let's see if it's going to fit okay so I've got the MPR stock on my stand here now let's see if the mechanism is going to fit inside and so here we go so I'm going to drop it in and it's going in it's going in but not all the way down well what a surprise that was well in fact actually it's not a surprise to me because um, I do know uh, one person at my club, Brian, has already tried this and told me that um, it won't fit in um, without a little bit of modification. And that's what we're going to look at now. Okay, so here we have a close-up 
of the MPR on its side here with the mechanism in situ and you can probably see already where the issue is the the trigger guard here won't actually drop through the stock at this point here um, this needs to be um, lengthened out a little bit to accommodate this trigger guard and it's not very much at all um, now I don't like carving stocks up um, like the next man might not but um, it's only a slight amount and I think with a Dremel I can carve some of that stock out to accommodate that trigger guard and I'm quite prepared to do that so let's have a go at that now and see how far I get okay so I'm ready to do my um, cutting I'm going to use um, a Dremel tool with this attachment and this is the part here that I'm going to cut into I've put a small mark here it's about I, I guess half an inch in that I need to cut away here to accommodate that trigger guard so um, once I've finished I'll let you know and you can see what the results are like wish me luck okay guys that's uh, that's it that didn't take me too long at all a couple of minutes with that Dremel tool that was exactly the right tool to use um, carved in about a half an inch here into the wood from obviously the uh, this side um, being very careful obviously as I went and took it slowly but um, there was a little bit of burning of the wood as as, as it went through but um, that's that's neither here nor there um, I'm just going to get a little bit of emery paper in a minute and just take off I don't know if you can see just a little bit of um, wood burring around there but the whole mechanism is now secure in there and um, let's lock it all up now and then see what it looks like okay so all finished so here's the MPR with the HFT 500 mechanics inside all perched on top and it's all fitted together okay and um, well remains to be seen how effective this is going to be as a combination um, I will get the chance to use this in a few weeks time and maybe I'll report back but it feels a lot better to me um, being in this stock and um, I'm quite happy with the progress that I've made here today that's great and just to let you know that um, well I'll show you anyway if you were wondering about the HFT 500 stock and the NPR they fit together like a glove and there's a strange combination for you um, yep they marry up without any modification whatsoever so that's great and of course if I don't get on with the configuration I've just created then I can change things back very very quickly so that's great so thank you for watching and if you've liked or enjoyed this video please um, like press the like button and um, subscribe if you want and of course add any comments you like in the comments box uh, any questions you might have and um, I'll get back to you so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video